Hi, uh, my name is Carlos, and my story begins a couple of years ago. Um, I was just a sophomore in high school, and I'm I'm that guy that likes sports a lot. So, but but really, I didn't do any sports in high school besides track. Um, I mean, that, this is just my freshman year. So freshman year, I did track, and then our coach for track was like, "You should try for the football team. You're fast. You got the speed, and we could really use you." And then my sophomore year came, and I was like, "All right." I'm up for it. Something new, fresh start, why not? And that same year, my parents decided to get me a puppy for my birthday. I, that summer was like the greatest thing. I was like, okay, new year, new sport, new puppy, you know, great. And I told myself, I was like, if I'm going to get a dog, you know, I better get it late. I better put that dog to a new in a way that it will benefit me. And I did got emotionally attached to it. Um, so I used to always take him out for a run, and then later on it became when he grew up, um, he, didn't even need, he didn't need a leash anymore. And he was my training buddy for everything, especially my conditioning one. So, you know, we were always on the track running around and everything. And the coach, I brought him to practice one day, and the coach was like, hey, Carlos, why are you bringing your dog to, to practice, you know? <laughs> or anything. And I was like, oh, it's, he's just here to, you know, have fun. That, that was my mentality. And he's like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and when we did the conditionings, uh, the, the dog actually ran with the whole team, and which was pretty cool. I was like, oh, okay, I like it. Uh, his name was, was Coco. So, and um, later on, that the varsity coach told me, he's like, okay, um, we seen your improvement, and we're gonna put you on the varsity team for one night. I I was like, ooh, that is, you know, a new sport, and then going straight to varsity. I was like, ah, that's nervous. So uh, this morning, it was a Friday night. I mean, sorry, it's Friday morning. It was pretty cold. I decided to go outside to go to get ready, and then walk to school. But unfortunately, I left the door open. So and all the excitement's going through. I'm just walking to school, and I cross the street, because I live right across the street from uh, my school, and I hear a bark. And I'm like, oh, okay, what? And then I look back, and it was my dog. <laughs> and right when I looked, I just smiled. But I was like, oh, oh, what if he crosses the street? What if there's a car coming? And actually, that, that is what happened. So once he, I looked, he started running towards me, but I really didn't see any cars or anything coming, so I just remember, like, I called him, I was like, hey, come here, Coco, and then he comes, and there's this white band that just, you know, well, um, it just made a, um, so it, it hit, it hit, it hit the dog, and I, my, uh, my, my world just stopped right there, I was like, um, what do I do? So my mom came running out and she was like, hey, um, you know, get, get to class, I'll take care of this. And I remember feeling that day the worst day of my life and especially I had a game too, so I was prepared for a game. I didn't know how to handle the emotions, whether to, to move forward or not or, you know. And then the coach accidentally told me, he's like, hey, are you going to bring your dog to the game? And I was like, <laughs> um, I, I can't. He, he's, I, well, I didn't know if he died or anything, but that same day, night, um, I only played once. I did score a touchdown, with, which kind of like brought my feelings back again. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get home and you know, get no, the, notice the news that my dog had died, and uh, the coach the next day told the whole team, and then he's like, okay, you know, Carlos is not feeling it right now, and from that day on, he put me, I finished the year with with JV, you know, just to cool off and everything, but from, day on, from that day on, I decided to, to be a veterinarian because, you know, that dog meant a lot to me, and I really care for animals, and the, that's 
one one of the reasons that I won't have a farm by myself just to care of and take good care of the animals. 